ating uh, Pedro Las Piñas and, uh, and representative of Mayor of Las Piñas, Cesar Mayor. Barangay Chairman Roberto Cristobal, Barangay uh, and, uh, Daniel Fajardo, Barangay Lucifico Antonio, but sa Ilaya, no? Ilaya. And then, uh, of course, meron tayong, uh, galing sa ERDB representative, si Doc Kasim, as Golan. Ayan. And of course, ating uh, representative from the ACB, and uh, ang mga kasamaan doon sa PAMBI, si Miss Amy, na very busy dito, at saka si Architect Aaron, at ang uh, other representatives ng uh, ERDB, uh, DOST representative, meron pala dito, magandang umaga po. At saka uh, BIFA representative. And ang kasama po yung aking partner dito, si ARD Alvaro po, na ang aking assistant regional director. Ayan. Nakakatuwa po, uh, kanina minimension ni Senator na yung mga media na nandito, nasabik ka, matagal daw na kulong. No? So, we're just hoping na uh, this will be a, a fine day and uh, the, the coming days ay maging maganda rin. Ano? Sabi ko nga, a roller coaster ride ng pandemic yes. sa Pilipinas. Bababa, aakyat, bababa, para tayo nagro-roller coaster. But, para nasanay na tayo on how to adapt, no? So, it is my great, great pleasure to welcome everyone here sa event na to. This is one of the activities na ating uh, World Wetlands Day celebration na ginanap natin noong February 2 na nag-post at lihap tayo, no? But, uh, finally, matutuloy ito ang gusto natin ipakita, no? Na which uh, the, the good senator would uh, be opening today. So alam naman natin na itong Alas Pinas Paranaque Wetland Park ay isa, uh, isa sa mga 8 Ramsar site. No? So napakahalaga po nito ang existence na ito. Ang pinanaan dito sa atin sa Good Metro morning, Manila. Sa ito po sa Metro Manila. No? At saka uh, hindi pa, kahit po na-proclaim ito, marami pong challenges na hinaharap tayo yes. on how to protect itong Las Pinas Paranaque Wetland Park. No? Uh, numerous threats mostly associated with the area being located in Metro Manila, densely populated tayo, maraming basura, sabi nga, yung waste from the nearby communities, along the coastal area, and then, of course, yung water quality, may heavy metals sa, sa loob ng, ng, ng tubig, ano? So, meron din tayong mga, yun na nga, possible na mga future uh, na uh, reclamation project na inaharap din na threat, no? So, napakarami. While ang effort ng BNR National Capital Region, eh, hindi po namin kaya mag-isa. Kailangan po namin ang isang boses na magpoprotect sa dito sa Spinius Wetland Park. At uh, napaka, uh, napakapalad po namin ay eh, meron kami nagsa-champion sa Senado. Kasi kung wala po, may hirapan po talaga with, with honorable senator. Ano? Importante po talaga pagdating sa kalikasan ay eh, magsa-champion para sa mga advocacia at protection. So we hope that itong event na ito ay eh, makatulong po sa ating kaalaman para tumaas po ang tas ng kalaman natin o ano ba itong uh, wetland, ano ba itong wetland at ano ba itong uh, uh, so with that, uh, I welcome you again to this program. Maraming maraming salamat po for giving your time. Isang makakalikas ng pagbakit mula sa DNA ng aming kapital region. Again, thank you, uh, Director Chantalin Kaantang, for welcoming us all here for this event. So now, uh, let us hear another message from the Vice President and Executive Director of the Society for the Conservation of Philippine Wetlands. Let us give a hand to Ms. Amy M. Okay, thank you, Dali. Uh, good morning, everyone. special Senator Villar, Senator Cynthia Villar. And of course, Director Jackie Kaangan of the ENR-NCR and Director Mandita Lim of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. I would also like to acknowledge yung mga kasamahan ko sa Society for the Conservation of Philippine Weapons are here today. I think I have uh, two of my trustees here, Dr. Sim Pasikolan and of course, Architect Aaron. Okay, so uh, we are very much honored and privileged um, to partner with the Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park 
the DENR and CR, the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity, and of course, the Office of Senator Villar, in celebrating World Wetlands Day 2022 with the theme, Wetland Action for People and Nature. World Wetlands Day, which is celebrated every year on the 2nd of February, is an important platform for promoting the message of wise use and conservation of wetlands all over the world. If you would notice, February to actually uh, World Wetlands Day. Pero kasi ano tayo eh, mas big time tayo, binobin natin, 22. Kaya tayo na nagsiselebrate. Okay, so this year is quite special and unique. Because last year, on August 30, 2021, at the 75th session of the United Nations General Assembly, they adopted a resolution proclaiming that World Wetlands Day will also be observed by the UN on 2nd of February of each year. So, hindi lang mo yung ano, ang sarang celebrate pati na mo yung UN this year. So, February 2 is the date of the adoption of the Convention on Wetlands in Ramsar, in Iran. And that was about 51 years ago. It is the oldest intergovernmental environment treaty. This resolution by the UN comes at a critical moment amid the global biodiversity and climate change crisis to reinforce efforts to raise awareness on the importance of wetlands and intensify actions for their conservation, restoration, and sustainable use. Since its inception 24 years ago, the Society for the Conservation of Philippine Wetlands focused its work in promoting the conservation and wildness of wetlands through various communication, capacity building, education, participation, and awareness activities, or what we call SIPA. This is because we believe, and I quote from Richard Loeb, that we cannot protect something we do not love, we cannot love something that we do not know, and we cannot know what we do not see, hear, or sense. Thus, our activities are centered on making people know wetland by experiencing them, from our youth ecological camps to our wetland bio bits, our wetland walks, and even our children's storytelling sessions. We make sure that our audience experience the wonders of wetlands. One of the main strategies that the SCPW adopted is by promoting the interaction between people and wetlands through wetland centers or wetland education centers. A wetland education center is defined as any wetland where there is interaction between people and wildlife and where SIPA or communication, capacity building, education, participation, and awareness activity occurs in support of wetland conservation aims. We have already conducted three wetland center design competitions. And we are grateful for the opportunity given to us by the Honorable Cynthia Villar um, and the DDNRNCR to design this Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland uh, Park Wetland Center Complex. With the SIPA hardware, uh, we, we call the centers the physical infrastructure SIPA hardware. The SIPA, with the SIPA hardware almost completely in place, we now look forward to the development of the software part of SIPA, meaning the educational curriculum, training courses, and awareness raising activities, among others, that will be conducted here at the two wetland centers. We have two wetland centers here. This is the wetland center wave, and that is the wetland center strata that will host the auditorium, museum, uh, cafeteria, uh, coffee shop, and uh, offices, and a laboratory. The SMPW is thus willing to work with the LTPW in developing SIPA software to enhance the educational and capacity building values of this Ramsar site. In fact, we will be conducting an international conference in July of this year here at the LTPW. This is the 8th Wetland Link International Asia Conference Part 2, which will be conducted hopefully in person. The Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park has also been accepted as the newest member of the Welly Asia Network, that's the Wetland International Asia Network. And that means that this Ramsar site 
will be able to benefit from the exchange of knowledge, experience, and resources among veteran centers across the world. We look forward to an exciting and fulfilling journey together where we value, manage, restore, and love the Spinos Paranatuga Temple. With that, thank you and happy World Veterans Day. Yes, good morning. Thank you, Ms. Amy Lecciones, for your message. And next, uh, another message will be coming from the Executive Director of the ASEAN Center for Biodiversity. Let us give a hand for Dr. Teresa Mundita Eslin. Doon sa kabilang side, yung view doon is, ayan yung tinatawag na Freedom Island, na kung saan po ay nag update din po tayo dyan. So, ayan yung, yung dito naman, sa so papunta po ng Manila Bay. Dyan. So, nandito po tayo ngayon sa may Las Piñas, or, par, or Paranaque Las Piñas. Ayan. Good morning po sa inyo, at ngayon ay Okto, ah, sorry naman, February 22. 2022. Ayan. So, good morning po sa inyo lahat at kamusta po kayo. So, ilan viewers, maraming salamat po sa inyo. So, andito po ang ating asinador, Cynthia Villar, ngayon kumaga. Ayan. 
So, hindi ang tawag nila dito is long. So, ikot ko lang po kayo. So, ayun yung kabilang side, yung Freedom Island na kung saan po tayo ay nag-update din dyan paminsan-minsan. Good morning, kamusta naman po? And malawak po ito so 175 hectares well mga Soriana so ngayon po ay kasama po natin ang ating asinador uh, Cynthia Villar ngayong umaga Ayan, good morning po sa inyong lahat So thank you again, uh, Dr. Teresa Manita Esmin, the Executive Director of ACP. And now, for uh, to deliver the keynote message, let us hear it from the Senator of the Republic of the Philippines and the Chair of the Committee on Environment and Natural Resources. Let us welcome and give a big round of applause to Honorable Cynthia A. Villar. Salamat sa inyo lahat for coming today. And uh, we are here to celebrate the World Wetland Day. Actually, February 2, to eh, no, 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 dahil uh, ng COVID. So, ngayon lang gumagawa yung COVID infection. Nalais ko magpasalamat kay eh, Director Chappi Kansan of DNR-NCR, Chairperson ng PAMPI, ng Las Pinas Paranaque Wetland Park. Alam ko lang po natin. And of course, another good friend, Dr. Teresa Mundita Lim, Executive Director of the SCN Center for Biodiversity. Actually, sa DNR din siya eh. Iniwanan ng DNR eh. <laughs> Sana marami tayong kakampi sa DNR. 
And of course, ang aming NGO partner, ang uh, uh, Philippine Wetlands uh, Society for the Conservation of Philippine Wetlands, and another PAMBI member, Ms. Ami Lecciones, Vice President and Executive Director of the Society. Palakpakan po natin. And of course, ang kanyang anak, si Architect Aaron Lecciones, siya po ang gumawa ng plano sa ating wetland, at itong, itong uh, ating uh, visitor center at ang ating wetland center ng libre o oh, oh, uh, servisyo sa atin. And of course, the Assistant Regional Director of BNR NCR, Mr. Al Rolfo, alakpakan po natin. And ang aming mga barangay captains sa uh, Las Piñas, nagpupusayan sa akin, kaya naandito lahat yan. <laughs> ang barangay captain na uh, barangay Daniel Pajardo, uh, barangay captain na uh, Roberto Cristobal. Pero lahat sila po mga family member kasi sila yung nakakasakot nito pinaglalagyan ng Las Piñas oh. Paranaque Wetland Park. Kasama po si Barangay Captain Byron Briggs ng Barangay Manuyo Uno. Another family member uh, as ang, uh, ang ating uh, nawala. Nagpapatong-patong ito eh. Ang Barangay Captain po ng Ilaya. O, oh, family member din si Barangay Captain Rustico Antonio. The youngest. Yeah. Ngayon kasi yung matatanda, mahilig magbabae. Kaya sila ko yung youngest. <laughs> Nagtataka ako lahat ng matatanda, yun ang maraming girlfriend. <laughs> Tinatanong ko tuloy kay Manny, talaga na mga 70 years old, mahilig pa sa girl. Kung hindi, kailangan pantayan ko si Manny Villar. Pareho yun rin yun. Kung kailan tumanda, doon ang hilig sa girls. <laughs> And of course, uh, yun ang aming mga barangay captain. And of course, ang ating uh, convert na naging uh, <laughs> mahilig sa environment, ang sentro ng Paranaque City, Mr. Bernie Amura. <laughs> uh, kasasama sa amin dito, eh, mahilig na rin sa environment. Thank you naman para may katulong tayo. At yun ang aming uh, 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 Senro ng Las Piñas, Mr. Cesar Perillo. Uh, alam mo, sila po yung pupunta dito every week na naglilinis. Kasi pag hindi nilinis yung post, kung gumawa ng plastic. Uh, galing sa galing sa kabiti yun, na pupunta dito. Kaya uh, kung wala sila, naliligo tayo sa plastic dito sa ating ano, uh, uh, itong post ng Las Piñas uh, para niya ko wetland park. So, palakpakan po natin silang dalawa para i-continue nila yung pabilinis dito. Kasi hindi kaya po ng ano, DNR. Sobra dami. Oo. Kaya nagpapasalamat tayo sa sentro ng Las Piñas at saka para niya ko eh. And of course, all the other trustees and members ng ating pambi uh, and uh, officials and personnel of DNR Our media friends, palakpakan po natin sila, baka kung ilagay nila sa media, magalang dito. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen and other guests. Alam nyo, ako po ay nagagalak na finally, uh, nagkakaumaayos uh, na po itong Las Pinas para niya kay Wetland Park. I have been uh, fighting for this uh, since uh, 2002. Kasi dati po to ay, sorry. I have been fighting for this wetland park since 2002 when I first became congresswoman of Las Piñas. Naging congresswoman po ako ng Las Piñas noong 2002. And uh, since then, napakahirap po kasi noon, hindi po ito pa legislated protected area. Ngayon po, hindi na nila magagalaw to because through the INIPAS Act of 2018, ito po ay naging na-declare 
together with 93 others, other places in the Philippines as legislated protected area. Uh, covering four and a, almost four and a half trillion hectares of land. So we can say na ang Pilipinas lang po ay 30 million hectares. So uh, yung five, hec five million hectares is about uh, ano yun? Uh, 30 divided by 5, 6, 15 percent of the Philippines na declared na na protected area by legislation. Alam niyo, kung na declare na protected area by legislation, di na pwedeng galawin because that's against the law. Kaya yun ang pinakamagandang protection. Pag declare lang ng Pangulo na executive order, hindi pinakikinggan eh. Kaya kailangan natin i-legislate and I think we're, we have passed another seven. Kasi po yung dinatna natin na protected area before 2018 is 13, di ba? Tapos nag-legislate kami ng 94. So naging 107. Tapos ngayon po, di ba na-legislate natin? Pito? Pito? Oo. Pito. Kaya magiging 114 by... Uh, Pag, uh, pag na-sign na ng President, nakalabas, nakapasa na sa Congress. So we have 140. I'm pleased that with the easing of COVID situation in the country, we have been given the opportunity to have this face-to-face -face celebration uh, this February to celebrate the World Wetland Day 2022 here at the Las Piñas Paranaque Wetland Park. Alam nyo, tayo, ito lang po ang wetland park na let's na in the whole of NCR. So, kaya very significant po ito kasi mahirap po humanap ng isang wetland park sa isang uh, syudad. So, ayaw nila ng ganito. Pero ako po, ganda-ganda po ako sa Las Piñas para niya ako. And I remember in 1992, uh, yung isang officer ng DNR, uh, nagtanim siya dito ng mangrove. Noon no, ang first term ni Senator Villar na congressman ng Las Piñas. At naalala ko, sinabi niya sa akin, 1992, nagtatanim sila ng mangrove. Tulungan ko sila. Kasi pag natanim na yung mangro, eh hindi na pwedeng patayin yan. Illegal na patayin yan. Kaya, pabayaan mo silang magtanim ng mangro para magprotektahan tayo at yung wetland park. Alam nyo, pag nagpunta po ako nung, nung Yolanda sa summer late, eh, kasi tumulong kami sa mga tinamaan ng Yolanda. Alam nyo, lahat ng bayan, na may mangrove sa coastland, hindi na-damage ng Yolanda. Ang na-damage ng Yolanda, yung walang mangrove sa coast nila. Kaya, mapakaganda po ng mangrove as protection for the people against typhoon surge. So, yung wala po mangrove, pumasok yung typhoon surge, one kilometer paglabas, dala lahat ang bahay, dala lahat ang tao, patay lahat ang tao. Kaya nga, nung ako eh, wala pang COVID, uh, linggo-linggo na ando po ako sa Paseco kasi ina-encourage ko silang magmango kasi ang daming bahay doon natatakot ako na biglang mag-typhoon search sa Manila Bay yung lahat ng bahay sa Paseco na puro mahira mat mamatay lahat sila doon kaya tinatanimang ko sila ng mango and they don't believe in mango nung una yung magtatanim ako tinatamba ka nila ng basura eh, pero hindi ako nag-give up Linggo-linggo, nile-lecture ako, alam nyo, sa Yolanda, lahat ng may mangrove sa coast na save from Yolanda. Kaya kayo, ang magsesave sa inyo pag nag-type ng search would be the mangrove. Kaya alagaan nyo itong mangrove na to. Kaya lang after, kasi sabi ko nung gano'n, linggo-linggo, nabuhay yung mangrove sa Paseco. So, at ngayon, marami na mangrove sa Paseco. Kaya it's very important. And in addition to protection, Yan din ang spawning ground of fishes in Manila Bay. So yung 300,000 small fisher folk sa Manila Bay, yan kumaasa para finger leaks. Para nang sa ganun may continuous supply of fishes in Manila Bay. Ang mangrove po ang, ang pinag 
yan nabubuhay. Yan ipinapanganak yung mga fishes sa Manila Kaya in addition na protection natin from uh, typhoon, eh, source pa ng pagkain natin. Kaya hindi ko po ma-imagine why gustong-gusto nilang tambakan ang Manila Bay. Pag tinambakan nila yan, paano yung hanap buhay ng 300,000 fishermen in Manila Bay? Mawawala ng hanap buhay. Kaya takat-taka ako, ba't gusto nilang tambakan ng Manila Bay? Alam nyo, yung kabiti po, yung Igos and Papoor, ang public works po nagtayo doon ng water retirement facility kasi bumabaha sila. Kasi yung extension ng Cavitex, imbis na gawin nilang aqueduct na free flow of water, kasi kung poste lang ang inilagay, di yung tubig lumalabas sa Manila Bay. Tinambaka nila eh. Tapos nilagyan nila ng kaprasong bridge in between na hindi naman makayang ilabas yung tubig sa Imus Bacoor, yung galing sa Bacoor River at sa Imus River. Pero hindi kasalanan nyo ng Capitex kasi yung Capitex, binili lang nila kay Buboy Birata. Di ba? Si Buboy Birata ang nagtayo mo. Siguro talaga pinupersi nila na magre-reclamation sila kaya nireclaim na nila yung Capitex. But you know, uh, ang public works, kaya nagagalit ang public works, they had to buy 45 hectares of land to build a water retarding facility sa Imus Bacoor para matapos yung kanilang baha. And that water retarding facility, uh, inexpropriate in nila yung luba ng Ayala. Na ngayon, nagkakasyo sila kasi sinisingil sa kanila for 45 hectares is 10,000 per square meter. So it's 45, 4.5 billion. And then, umutang sila sa JICA para i-build yung dam na 5 billion pesos. So it cost them 9.5 billion na hindi pa nila sigurado kung masusolve nila yung baha. So yun ang magiging problema natin dito sa Las Piñas, Paranaque, Bacoor. Pag nireclaim yung itong harap nitong wetland park na to, walang paglalabasan ang Zapote River, Las Piñas River, Paranaque River, at Molino River. Saan tayo lalabas? Ibabalik sa atin lahat yun. Ang prediction nila, uh, 8 meters na baha sa Las Piñas, Paranaque, and Bacoor. So, <laughs> hindi ko maintindihan why kailangan natin tambakan ang, ang, ang ocean. At hindi natin develop yung lupa at pabayaan nila natin yung ocean. Kasi alam nyo, para tambakan yan, 10,000 per square meter. Ang halaga ng lupa dyan, 500,000 per square meter. Gusto nilang iumaman. Yes, uh, bakit tayo papayag doon? Eh tayo ang mahihirapan. Pag natamba ka na yan at tayo binaha, hindi na natin mahuhukay yan para mawala ang baha. Kaya yun ang sinasabi ko pa Mayor Olivari. Ang problema, ayaw akong pakialaman ng paranyake. At pag hindi lumabas dyan yung galing sa Baranaque River, magkaroon tayo sa sukat. Pupunta naman sa Las Piñas yung ano nyo, tubig nyo. Tayo lahat ang babaha. Oo. Kaya yun ang sinasabi ko kay Mayor Ibarra. Alam nyo, ang buhay natin as public official, hindi naman ito puro pera. Kailangan i-protect din natin ang ating community from disaster. Kasi... In the end, magsasuffer na would be our children and our children's children. Okay. The United Nations encourages the yearly celebration of World, World Wetland Day to raise public consciousness about the wetlands, which are critically important ecosystems that contribute to biodiversity, climate mitigation and adaptation, fresh water availability, and to economies among its many functions. This year's theme is actually a call to action for wetland. It is an appeal to invest financially, human, and political capital to save the world wetlands from disappearing and to restore those that have been degraded. In all candidness, that is not an easy task to do. With our country's archipelagic nature, 
We have abundant number of wetlands and that call for much needed attention. Tayo po sa Pilipinas, yung Ramsar po is a convention in 1970s in Iran. That's a city in Iran. Doon po nagde-declare sila ng the wetland of Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance. And we are very lucky in the Philippines that there are eight wetlands in the Philippines declared by Ramsar. At ito yung Las Piñas Paranaque Wetlands Park, the only one in Metro Manila. Nakalista po dyan, pag titignan nyo, uh, si Tubata Harif, si Palawan Underground River, si yung Negros, yung uh, sa Pampanga, dalawa sa Palawan eh, isa sa Pampanga, yung sa Smuan. And then there is another one in Negros, or uh, in Mindoro Oriental, the Nauhan Lake, and another one in Cebu, the Olanco Island, and another one in Agusan, the Agusan Mars, and then what else? Tubata Harif in Palawan and the Underground River. Basta walo sila declared wetland of international importance by the West Ramsar list. So ang pangarap ko po, may film tayo ng, ng mga lugar na yan na ilalagay natin sa ating museum at continuously tumatakbo para yung mga bata na pupunta dito na educational trip mapapanood dyan. Kasi hindi nila mararating yan pag lalalayo. Ako, nakarating ako sa Agusan Mars at helicopter ako. Napakahihap. Oh, oh. Hindi ko pa natitingnan yung tubata harin. Yung pero yung underground river so Ben, good morning. I think if you go to Mindoro Oriental, it's the same. Island, malapit yan sa... No, wala, wala. Ba? Island. Olango Island. Yung, uh, uh, pero, siyempre, yung mga bata, hindi naman, they don't travel around the Philippines. At least, makikita nila in field. Si nagsasalita po yung po ang ating Senador Cynthia Villar. And good morning po at andito po tayo ngayon sa may Paranya kay Las Piñas wetland. Sir Dolpo Montes, good morning po. Vilma Soriano, good morning. Juan Santarita, good morning. Paranaque po tayo, Las Piñas Wetland. So yun nasa harap nyo na po yan. Ayan po yung Freedom Island. Freedom Island. Tapos itong way na to is dagat ato papunta po ng Manila Bay na yan. So pag dito naman po tayo, so papunta na kabilang papuntang Paranaque. So yung ilog na yan dyan. So nag update din tayo dito once in a while. Sinayda Butler, good morning. Pasensya na po kung hindi ko po kagad-agad nababasa ang inyong mga message. Ha? Kasi mas gusto ko po pakinggan niyo po ang sinasabi ng ating uh, senador, Cynthia Villar. Ngayong umaga na sa Paranaque, Las Piñas, wetland po tayo. And ako, tayo sa Las Piñas, Paranaque, sama, magsama-sama tayo uh, <coughs> dito sa pag-protect natin sa Las Piñas, Paranaque, Wetland Park. Wala na akong problema dito sa Wetland Park because it's a legislated protected area. Kaya lang hindi rin mabubuhay itong wetland na doon na walang buffer zone. Kasi piski ang mangrove na yan, mamangatay yan pag hindi naayos yung flow of water. Oo. And then, uh, marami na masisira dito kasi wala lalabasan yung river namin. Pag hindi tayo nag-buffer zone dito, enough para makalabas yung water namin sa aming river. In fact, this is a cove. If you will notice, this is a cove. This is not the ocean. The cove tayo na surrounded by Cavite, Paranaque, Las Piñas. 
Sana huwag masarahan yung quote na to because ito ang ilalabasan ng tubig ng ating anim na river. Pag nawala yan, walang lalabasan yung anim na ating river. Babawahin tayo. You know, I spent 10 years of my life uh, building the Las Piñas Sapote River Drive. And right now, I'm building the Molino River Drive. Ito yung mga kalye along the river that I built to protect the river oh, oh, from uh, pollution. Oh, oh. And at the same time, nung mayari yung kalye, makikid lang kalye kasi ismet lang yun ang river. Mga 5 to 6 meters. Pero enough na dumaan ang dalawang kotse o dalawang light vehicle. So to solve the traffic sa Sapote Alabang Road, I allow the private cars to pass through the river. Masaya-masaya sila. There are about 15,000 cars a day passing along my river drive. So malaking bagay din yung ibigandes traffic sa Sapote Alabang Road. But uh, we have to and now I'm here at the Polito River Drive. It's a 7 kilometer river drive along Polino Road in uh, along Moreno River in Macor. And Suguro Matatapos na mission. We have been doing it for the last two years. Kasi from my observation, ang nagagawa lang ng contractor around 3 kilometers per year. Hindi kaya. Mahirap daw eh. And uh, uh, kaya yung 30 kilometers sa Las Piñas sa Puerto River, I did that for 10 years. Tsaka wala rin pera. As yung isang kilometro, 100 million siya. So yung 30 kilometers, 3 billion. I cannot finance it in one year. Wala akong ganun perang entitlement sa gobyerno. So I did it in 10 years. So yung 7 kilometer ng Molino River, we will do it in more than 2 years. At hati din ang bigay ng pera kasi wala namin ganun kalaking pera ang entitlement ng senator sa Kuya. Anyway, uh, rest assured that I will always be with you, the DNR, in protecting the environment. Alam nyo, wala namang boto yung environmental protection. Wala ko nang kukuha boto dyan. Baka may boto pa ako doon sa mga partners sa agriculture, but not the environment. Ito lang, I, I really believe that to be able to maintain sustainability. Good morning, Ayan, salam, viewers, po sa viewers. Maraming salamat po. Sino yung sasalita po ang ating senador Cynthia Villar ngayong umara? Salito po tayo ngayon sa Paranya, Kalas, Piñas. Without protecting the environment. So, we have to protect the environment. At the same time, even though the Filipinos, they don't understand the protection of the environment. So, kaya wala akong boto yan. Yan ay advocacy na. Baka mas may boto pa yung akong culture. <laughs> Yun lang po. Ako ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat. I'm sure you're here because you are one with us in protecting the environment. Marami pong salamat. Sana palagi namin kayong kasama to fight for the survival of the Las Piñas para niya kay Petlan. I wish to acknowledge uh, as in Ating isang kaibigan from Capitex at the MPP group, Mr. Frankie Arellano, Pampi member of representative of Manila. Kahit ganyan niya, matanda na, eh, <laughs> kami girlfriend din. <laughs> Pero uh, loyal natin supporter dito sa Las Piñas. Maraming salamat. Yes, good morning po. Ayan ang ating Senator Cynthia Villar. Good morning, silent viewers. So, thank viewers. you, Senator Villar, for your keynote message. And also, we would like to uh, acknowledge the presence of Marangay San Dionisio, represented by Mr. Raymond Arceo, and also Barangay Mayunuuna, represented by Marangay Captain, uh, Honorable Brian Higgs. Welcome po, mga sir.
So now let us proceed to the next segment of our Adi, program. So may we invite our Senator Tony Gary Van Kating and Bo Pili of the Wildlife Exhibit together with uh, Director Kaan Kaan, uh, Kami Directioners, Dr. Lim, our guests and visitors. Yeah, we're going to go. 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 Yeah, we're going to go.